Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading from mid-July to the end of July 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, you can check out one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading for more specific information. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Although I am going to be focusing mostly on your energy, all right, in this round of the zodiacs. Usually I do your energy as well as their energy. This time I'm just doing it a little bit differently. So let's see what is going on with Sagittarius from mid July. The overall energy is we have mask. Okay. So somebody is hiding something here. Somebody is wearing a mask. They might be presenting themselves as something that they're really not or just hiding certain emotions, holding back on feelings, just making things seem like they are different than what they actually are. All right, so it could be anything. It could be that, I don't know, maybe this person is miserable, but they're acting like they're totally cool and everything is okay. It could be the opposite as well. It could be that this person is, and this could be you, right? It could be you or the other person. Um, it could be that this person is showing that they have emotions, but maybe they have another plan. We'll see. I'm mostly feeling the first scenario here. It could even be that you are holding back and not showing your true feelings to somebody. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so for the recent past, we have the Hanged Man, the Emperor, and Judgment. Okay, wow, three major arcana. So it feels like there is definitely a very strong past here, possibly with this person. Um, it could be that you felt like you had been waiting for a long time. You felt like things were stagnant when it came to this person or to you really standing up for yourself and making some kind of a decision or some kind of a discernment that would be based in truth. We'll get more information when we clarify. But let's see what's going on for now. We have the King of Swords, the Hermit, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so if this is you, it's like, you know, you know what you want. You have a lot of clarity about a decision that you want to make, okay? I feel like it's a decision because we have judgment here. But it feels like you are just constantly thinking about it, thinking about it, searching for it, searching for the answers. So much so that it might be keeping you from actually taking the steps, like the actual action. And this is creating some form of unhappiness for you. It's leading to disappointment at the moment. Okay, or it could be that you are feeling disappointed because someone else is doing this. Let's see what is coming up. We have the Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Um, I don't know why, I'm just getting that some of you, I know we only have two swords cards here, but I feel like some of you might be dealing with an air sign. Um, there's action happening. There's This is a lot of action coming up in the near future. Like, I cannot make this up, alright? Because I know it feels like a lot of times, you know, we get the um, past and the present, and they see, the energy seems so-so, and then the future is just like, wow, like, it's so positive. But that's really what it is. I mean, Eight of Wands, that's action, that's communication. Two of Cups, that is love, a partnership. Knight of Wands, there's more action here. Again, based on truth, which is what I was saying before with judgment. So, yeah, it looks like there is definitely some communication, at least, at least some communication coming in that is going to be um, based, on, based on love. It's going to be romantic in nature. Let's see, let's clarify. And I do feel like whatever that communication is, it's going to be truthful. It might feel a little bit impulsive, um, but it is going to be based in truth. So 
so I don't want to dwell too much in the past. Um, let me just clarify a judgment. All right, we have the Emperor, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Wands. So the Emperor is showing up twice. Yeah, okay, so this is definitely a person who, um, like I said, was holding back from making a decision. And again, it feels like whatever this decision is, whatever this discernment is, it's something that somebody did know what it is that they wanted. Um, even with the Emperor being there, it's something that this person really, really wanted to have control over and to really achieve. But there was either too many options as to how to go about it and that was confusing them or just coming up with a lot of scenarios in their mind that may have been illusory, like not even really based in reality. And that can create some fear sometimes which can keep people from actually moving in a direction that they want. So I feel like this is where the mask comes into play where, you know, somebody wants something but they're not really showing it. They're keeping it to themselves because they're not backing it up by actions. And so since they're not backing up what they want with actions, they're just hiding it completely because then it's like, well, how can I express this when my actions are contradictory to this? So it would make no sense in expressing it or it might put me in a position where, well, since I expressed it, now I'm feeling pressured like I do have to do something. Hence the mass. So let's see what's going on currently. King of Swords. That's too many. All right. So clarifying the King of Swords, we have the we have Judgment showing up again. The Magician. Wow, there's a lot of major arcana in this in this reading, and the Fool. So there's a lot of major things happening here. Okay, I'm definitely picking up this. This is a very um, deep soul connection. Okay, where there there have been a lot of lessons, or there are a lot of lessons that are meant to be learned. This is a person that you are meant to have been in this connection with, because there's just so many major energies here, and I feel like you know. This is bound to go both ways. There's something in it for you and there's something in it for the other person, even if it is painful. All right, so we have these three major arcana cards clarifying the King of Swords. So I do feel like this is a major, major decision here. This person, whoever it is, whether this is you or them, because um, it's not very clear, but you would know who it is. There's a decision here that is actually very, very major, and I feel like this person has everything that they need in order to make that decision. And whatever that decision is, it will definitely be a risk. It's definitely something that's like, you know, jumping into the unknown, taking a risk, having to just take a leap of faith and to just, you know, even if you're blindfolded through it, diving into the unknown, not knowing what's coming after. But this person, like I said, they have all the tools that they need in order to do that. And I feel like they do also have clarity that that's the only way to go about it. There is no sense in, you know, thinking about, well, what about this way or what about that way or, you know, just keeping themselves confused. That has not gotten them anywhere, okay? Again, could be you. And so they just keep, like I said, they've been thinking about it. They're, it's like they know this, but they're choosing to stay in this hermit mode. Let's clarify the hermit. The Four of Swords. Okay, so there is some healing that is being done here. There is some healing that is being done by them soul searching. It just might not really um, show. Okay, so then this could be you. All right, there is, even though it might be keeping you or them in, in this passive state, there's still some healing that is happening through this process. So I do feel like it is going to be um, a phase. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. <laughs> 
the hanged man and the seven of wands. All right, yeah, so the hanged man showing up again. All right, first of all, let me just, let me just say some of you might be dealing with the Nereus, with the Virgo, just calling out the signs that I do see, although of course it could be any sign. All right, but I'm definitely seeing strong, strong Aries here as well as air sign, as I said, and, and the Virgo. Okay, so part of the lesson here, part of this healing is to actually have that deeper understanding that by blocking out the actions by thinking, that is what leads to the disappointment. It's kind of like this person, whether it be you or them, is actually experiencing this, staying stagnant, and, and that is what what is helping to heal them because this is helping them to see they have to realize that on their own that by not doing anything by not acting on what I'm feeling like I want to act on it's not going to happen by itself if I'm just stagnating and just thinking 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 staying in hermit mode forever I'm just blocking out my happiness that's keeping me from getting what I want. So this person is feeling that discontentment at the moment, feeling that disappointment, also feeling disappointed in their own self for having stayed in this waiting energy for as long as they have. And that is also making them feel a little bit defensive, which again would explain the mask. It's like this person knows that they have stalled and that they have procrastinated. All right, so let's see the near future because it does look like things are picking up here. All right, so clarifying the Eight of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Two of Cups again, right? Which is right next to it. So yes, there's a lot of communication here. Um, I feel like this person is going to, whoever this is, whether, again, I don't know who it is. I, I did say I was going to be focusing on you, but it does feel a little mixed here. Um, there's communication here happening. I feel like, the, actually, I feel like this communication is coming in towards you which again is going to be based on romantic feelings, um, a wish for a partnership. This person is actually going to give a lot of energy to you through, through this um, communication or possibly even an action. Wanting to balance something out, wanting to provide something more. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. the Tower, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this communication is going to be, um, or even this action, is going to be something um, that's really going to be like a turning point here. It's really going to be a turning point when it comes to the dynamic of the situation or the way things have been structured. I feel like the structure of this connection is about to shift. It's about to shift, all right, that Three of Pentacles. Um, which is kind of the dynamic of what, what it's been or whatever external situation might also be involved here. And this is opening up a new possibility, a new potential here. There's going to be communication about that new potential and it's going to be based in, um, on love. Wow, I feel like... I feel like for all fire signs, it, it felt very um, positive towards the end, like major things happening here in the near future. All right, so if this resonated for you, let's get your final message. All right, and we have the full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. 
So I feel like, yeah, even with that Six of Pentacles here, which does talk about balance and that this person, whoever it is, is going to start providing more. It's also about finding that balance, yes, between, you know, um, not just being spiritual here, not keeping things in the spiritual like the hermit, right? Not just keeping things in the 5D and in the thoughts, but actually making things practical, actually taking that action, that physical action towards, towards a goal rather than just thinking about it too much because just staying in the thinking <laughs> leads to that disappointment. So Sagittarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.